Hello Lulus, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And I have just a few more things. <laughs> All right, so now we've asked you to subscribe. Check, did you hit it? Okay, good. Click the bell, check. Make sure you're clicking all notifications. Check, because sometimes I post on the community tab. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Check. Make sure that you're following me on my blog, Miss Serenity Smith Babies dot com. Check. Um, and also, if you want to be a part of the chatterbox, you can do so by clicking the link in the description bar. Check. <laughs> that you do have to be 18 years old, and it is a dollar and ninety nine cents. All right. Today I'm here with Baby Winter. So winter has been a part of my personal collection for quite some time now. Um, she's a baby that has been painted and rooted by me. Um, I am going to just put her on something just quick for right now um, because I am. I think I need to like do a little bit more tweaking on her, like eyebrows, eyelashes. I may play play around with them a little bit more. And also, I think, like, there's a little bit more clipping to do in the back ways of her hair. But I did give her a full head of hair. Um, I did actually use... Let me see if you guys... I don't know what you guys can see when I do that. I did actually use two different hairs in her head because the first hair that I was using... I was told it was curly, but it was not giving me the curls that I was hoping it would give. So I went back in with a different brand of mohair. And um, so we finished it off. I finished it off with that, but it blended all well and actually works out pretty good. Um, so. I'll take pictures of her and put them on Instagram if you guys are curious to see how her hair turned out. Um, it's a little full, but not too full. Um, it's directionally rooted. Um, one to two strands at a time. That type scenario. She's still got little pieces of hair on her that's going to aggravate me, but we're going to try to work through it as I get her dressed. Let's see, there we go. So she is the Louisa Sculpt by Lillian Breville. She's a sold out edition. Um, she has elbow armatures and a drink and wet. Um, I am not at this time placing her up for sale. I'm just going over her little information. Um, I didn't bring a little brush with me. But um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna upload the video where I was talking about how I was searching for this brown, I mean not brown, this purple, um, this purple uh, onesie. And I did find it. And so now I'm all happy about it. So I'm gonna put it on her, even though it's probably not the first outfit I wanna put on. Like I have so many things put away for winter like I was like saving to after she gets hair. I'm like, oh, when she gets hair, I could put her on these things. Um, so, but for now, I'm going to attempt to put this over her head without messing her hair up too much because I did not bring a brush in here. All right. Okay, I messed up her eyebrows, but that's the thing about rooting, actually rooting and not sealing down the eyebrows. Um, they will get messy when you're dressing them sometimes, depending on how you root them. The way that I rooted Vegas on his, they get a little messy, but not too messy because I really, really try to get them where they kind of root it like how ours grow in. So um, I don't have, it doesn't get as bad. I tried to do that with her, but I was trying not to um, with with her, with winter, if you do her eyebrows a certain way, it makes her look meaner or mean. 
and I didn't want to give her that mean look. So I was trying to be very careful with that. But um, that might have kind of messed me up because I was probably so busy concentrating on that. I didn't get it exactly how I wanted it. So, but it's okay. I always can go back in and tweak it. I was just glad to just finish her her rooting because I'm like, oh God, this is aggravating. <laughs> so, I, ooh, baby, you been your thumb. It's just so, so much easier for me to, you know, finish them, see what they look like. And then kind of tweak stuff. Sometimes I, sometimes I have this idea in my head, but it don't necessarily play out <laughs> the way I'm expecting. Um, there we go. All right, Mama. She actually looks really good in lavender. But let's cover up your diaper. Don't worry about that. We're gonna. She's gonna put on shorts anyway, so we'll worry about covering that up and a bit and a bit all right so i'm gonna put her on actually i'm i'm stripping london not london i keep calling her london lauren i'm stripping lauren because lauren has them on but i didn't really want to keep lauren on that so it's fine some socks so i'm gonna put her on these old bloomers i know y'all about to tired of me repeating outfits on my babies but they all have to wear it then i get tired of it then i put it retire it and then sooner or later real baby comes along and voila it's gone <laughs> but i've got my wear out of it what's up at every baby wear it take a picture in it it's like some stuff i don't never get rid of though i don't care how many babies wear it and it just, it's been around for like years and years. And every baby that comes into the nursery seems to wear it. And I don't care. Like, I don't care. Um, this is my favorite hand. I love this hand on her. I can, this one, not bad. I just, I really love this hand on her. Um, let's see. All right, so we're going to put her on, just put her on these little sockies. These are her, her little feet. <laughs> I love her little feet. Um, I fell in love with uh, Winter before I painted her because of how soft she feels. Like, um, Claire, um, silicone is amazing and some babies, depending on how they're sculpted and their size, it actually allows them to feel even more cuddly. And I just feel like, like, because winter is petite, but she's like not thick all in the stomach and stuff like that. It really helps her be more cuddly. And I think um, Lillian, the way that she sculpted her, um, Definitely help, but it's definitely also in the silicone pour. It's a very nice silicone. She wrinkles like super nice and stuff. So I am really, really like in love with the feel of um, winter. Even so, um, I actually am happy with her painting and stuff. But I really, really love the way that she's she's poured. And I love her little hair now. So I'm so happy that she actually have hair. It just feels like she's so complete now. So that's my girl. Um, she does not really do well with um, pacifiers. And when I say do well with pacifiers, I only mean like she doesn't look as good with them. Um, she takes a bottle. I was trying to find a bottle. She takes a bottle well and so her drinking wet works really well um i don't have any lubricant on her nipple so i don't want to 
worth it. But yeah, she takes a, a bottle pretty good. So she would drink just fine. But because of the shape of her mouth and her expression, she don't always look that good in pacifiers. But I haven't really tried enough to figure out if it's one that works for her. But yeah, so that's that's her. Let's see, we'll get a look closer at her. So yeah, so again, this is her. This is like, I guess my favorite side. This side is okay, but it's kind of smushed because I've had her laying on that side. Um, I think, I don't know how it happened, but I think this side is just a tad bit thicker and this side right here, but not that much. But you know that's how our head is right now. My grandson has one side that's thicker than the other. And, um, but yeah, so she's, you know, she's all rooted, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have so many bald-headed babies. It's just crazy sometimes that, you know, as hard as I work, I don't, you know, get to enjoy the full fruits of my labor a lot of times because either I have to sell them or I have to keep them ball because I only have a lot of time or spaces for babies that I need to sell. And in order to get them sold a lot of times, most people want hair. So um, it's so crazy because it's like, Sometimes I, I think, oh, if I sell them balls, somebody will take advantage of them because they're, you know, so much less expensive. And, you know, sometimes these collectors, they're friends with different people, rooters or rooters will root for them when they won't, you know, necessarily accept a root job from me. And I'm like, you guys could save yourself some money, get the baby and go get it rooted yourself or root it yourself. Because some collectors actually don't paint, but they actually root. Um, sometimes it works out that way and sometimes it doesn't. But... Um, I just don't get to, like I said, benefit from it a lot of times, um, because, you know, I have to do what I have to do. Um, a lot of you guys m might not know, but I do use my dolls as part of my income, not just to buy dolls, but just as a part of my income, period. Um, I am pretty much a single mom and not to use that as like, oh, whoa, it's me. Um, my older children, I was married to their father. It was four of them. They're grown, but they still need mommy's help. And then I have, now I have my eight year old, soon to be nine year old here. And so, you know, we have to, I have to, it's have to make sure we eat good. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I can't always have just, you know, the babies that I want. So, um, this is a part of my livelihood, even though it's my hobby. I've found that it helps a little bit with little, you know, little things. I don't know why some people, uh, tend to think that I just have money because <laughs> I don't have money like that. Um, I try to be wise with my money. I work hard um, to try to make sure I have everything that I need and my children have what they need or my grandbabies now. I've kind of transferred that energy from my children to my grandbabies. Now I tell their moms, I'm like, ah, they all are out of the picture now. It's just about the grandbabies. So um, yeah, so that's that's where I'm at with it, guys. But let me know if you like winter with hair now. Um, not that there's nothing we can do because it's not like I'm gonna pull it out, but always curious to, to, to hear your feedback if she looks totally different with hair. Um, do you think that that really helped her with hair? Just curious, but look at her. I just, look at that head, look at that head of hair. You can see her little red marks in her head and stuff, it's so cute, I love it. I love, I love, 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 love. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna take a few pictures. Unfortunately though, at the angle it is, it almost looked like she got a little ball spot, but I can rest assured you she don't. Um, it's just not like overly 
thick up at the top like that. But yeah. Bye.